Hello everybody and welcome to today's video on Everfit's payment system. It's great to have you here today to learn more about how you can streamline all of your payments using Everfit's Stripe integration. I'm going to start off by showing you where to find this feature. So all you have to do is go onto the left hand side, click onto the payments and packages page, and then you'll be brought to a page very similar to this. There's two main components with the payment system. So the first one is the packages. This is where you can build out your sales pages, you can see your data, and you can also turn on and turn off specific settings for payments. The main package we're going to focus on today is this on-demand subscription. So when I click onto that on-demand subscription, the analytics will appear. The analytics, you'll be able to view the active purchases, any cancellations, the invoices, paid and overdue payments. You'll also be able to view all-time revenue and the last 30 days revenue too. The overview is where you can build the sales page for your clients. So you can add your cover photo, you can add a title, a headline and a description telling your clients exactly what they're going to be getting if they make this purchase. You can set the pricing. This could be for reoccurring subscriptions or one-time payments. You'll see that I've set up a monthly subscription here and you can also allow a free trial period with the advanced settings. Our settings page. So this is where you can change the package name. You can see, view the other settings like purchase limits, group tags, trial settings, self cancellations, automatically archiving clients and overdue reminders too. So you can work through these settings, turning them on or off. The second component to the packages is the sequences. This is where you can determine what your clients will receive from the moment they purchase a specific package. So you can essentially build out different journeys that clients can go through once they purchase something. So we're going to focus on that on demand subscription today. So I'm going to create a sequence called on demand. With an on-demand subscription, you'll probably focus on those on-demand features like the resource collections. I can go ahead and choose on day one, they're going to get access to the nutrition resources. They're going to get access to a couple studio programs. So I'll just choose a couple here. They could get access to some on-demand workout collections. And then you could also give them access to a community. So once you've built out and mapped that journey of what you want your clients to receive, you can go back to the package And we'll go to that on-demand subscription. And you can simply just connect a new sequence or a specific sequence to that package. Once a client makes this purchase, they will receive that straight away. There's some additional pages here that you can view. One is payment activity, where you can see when people are making payments, when this payment is missed. You can also filter based off the type of payment that you want. You can also set up your coach bio. This coach bio can appear on the packages if you want it to. I hope this overview of the payment system was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out.